from Marlborough. Dana Lambert, 63, from Willington. Sadie Johnson is one from Manchester. And Ed and Angela Klonowski, 15 years in Bristol. Hope you all have a great day. A lot of birthdays today. Yeah, a lot of birthdays. Especially in the morning, too. We had so many. It's such a great day for a birthday and celebration. The weather's so nice. Absolutely, yeah. And a day full of live music, food, and family fun is also coming up all for a good cause. <laughs> Chicken stock 2024 at Hind Farm is this Saturday. Marcy Jones is live at the farm this morning to find out what to expect. Hey, Marce. Oh, I love it. Farm Hi there. Good morning, you guys. I am just loving life out on the farm. I think I was built for the simple life. JK. You can insert the laugh track there. I'm here with my new friend, Jen. I'm so excited to be here at Farm Truck at Hein Farm, right? Yes, yes. Okay, I got it. Woo! Okay, so for anybody who's not familiar with Chicken Stock, take us through what that's all about. I think this is so cool. Sure. Chicken Stock is Farmington's own little Woodstock. Um, Love it. So it uh, highlights local musicians, yep. um, local food trucks, um, the farm, yep. um, and just is a great opportunity to share everything with the local community. And, and you guys certainly have so much going on from your do. gorgeous yep. garden to your pick your own flowers, all of the animals here. For anybody who hasn't visited before, give us an idea of what the experience is like for someone to come to the farm. Well, it is a great experience. It's a chance to be on a farm. I mean, every farm is different. Yeah. We, we grow a mix of flowers and vegetables. Um, Very nice. You get to see chickens and animals and plants growing, and you can go pick your own flower bouquet if you'd like. I love that. We have your mom, your dad, and Lisa over yes, here yeah. in the kind of, is this where we do all of the floral arranging? This is where we do the floral arranging. It's also our um, hub at events. Okay. Um, I did forget to mention this chicken stock event benefits the Connecticut Farmland Trust. That's incredible. So for anyone who's, that's the first time they're hearing about that, yeah. tell us a little bit about that organization. Um, they are a Connecticut nonprofit that works to preserve and protect farmland in Connecticut. I imagine living on a farm that must be pretty helpful, huh? Yeah. Yes. Good. So, yeah, we want to keep <laughs> keep farmland in Connecticut. I they, love they it. Do it, yeah. We're going to move on over to this because I said when I first saw this, I was like, this is straight out of a Hallmark film. I mean, you've got the little, what would you call this, like a veranda, like a little overpass? Our pergola. Our pergola. We've got a chandelier in here. We've got the um, beautiful, what's this, John? I'm sorry, this, I'm not, okay. no, I don't have a green thumb. It's called Hyacinth Bean Vine. Oh, it's Hyacinth Bean Vine, cute. Yeah, I did it. Look, I, I don't think I took the easy way in. This is so much fun. All right, so Maggie, I have to ask, if somebody is kind of a novice floral arranger, what is the best way to kind of go about putting together a lovely bouquet? Well, being the non-expert that I am, okay. um, I would suggest just putting taller flowers in okay. the center and shorter stems around the edge. So we kind of build up. Right, right. Mm -hmm. So and and kind of even it out, you know, so that their colors aren't all globbed this in together gorgeous. unless you have a singular color. Of okay. course, of course. Okay. Monochromatic is very in. Always a little filler okay that adds a little pizzazz. so some texture pizzazz yes, we love yes, that absolutely. we help you though you don't have to be an expert oh, yeah. okay we, you cut we we can arrange for you we give you lots of extra goodies absolutely. you can mix in so fantastic and if you don't want to cut what i'm doing right now is making up some bouquets for the store so they'll, they'll all set I for love you that. so i've heard so much about this store what are some of the I things know. that you guys sell in there probably we lots sell of goodies. a little bit of everything we have our own produce that we grow here in flowers and then i carry um produce and gifts from lots of other local farms. There's over Amazing. 20 different Connecticut farms in the store. So wow. everything from ice cream to baked goods to oh, apples and cider. Yeah. I can't wait. My mouth is watering. Now I'm sure everybody wants to come on down for chicken stock. Yeah. Give us an idea of who we're going to hear this weekend. Any headliners or um, anybody that you're excited about or is it going to be a surprise? There's a lot of great artists. It's kind of a mix of country, Americana. Okay, so uh, little, something for everybody. Rock, something for everybody, Little Rock. Um, Leanne Lovelace is going to be here. She closes it. Uh, Steve Dunn, who's a Farmington native. Yes. Uh, we have Growing Giants, The Pears. Um, uh, Eddie Seville. I can't yeah. believe you forgot the Sonny and Cher impersonator who are running around here in the form of a very cute black cat and a very cute gray cat. Oh, where is it? Oh, oh, I 
and name. Cher. I love the name. Sunny and Cher. So cute. Guys, if people want to come on down, what's the best way for them to get all the information? What's the best resource for them to go to? So they can go on our website, which is farmingtonfarmtruck.farm, or the tickets are available on Eventbrite. Um, the tickets are $25 an adult or $12 a kid. Okay. We'd re it's a great family event. There's going to be food trucks. There will be an alcohol vendor. Um, lots of music, hay rides, stuff for the kids. Um, I I would recommend buying ahead of time because we're course. not sure if they'll be available at the door. But so go on Eventbrite, Eventbrite today and get Perfect. your tickets. Get your tickets, everybody. It's going to be the event of the season. Oh, look at <laughs> look at you with props and everything. Guys, we've got lots more to explore here on the farm. We're going to see you right back in just a little bit over on the wax. All right. Sounds good. It sounds like chicken stock is going to be a little stock. bit country and a little bit rock and roll. I think you're on to something. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. All right. Now, we're switching gears here. If a motorcycle rider is